The Harana theme is not unique in Pinoy art, even though I doubt anyone is doing it still, even in the countryside. But perhaps it brings us to simpler, nostalgic times. It will be painted on the canvas where the romantic and the idyllic are celebrated. If we want realism, we have the news for that. Speaking of realism, there isn't really much in Anthony Nanola II's work, but it works real well. What's not realistic about it? All the men are of the same height. They are almost gigantic that with just one Michael Jordan leap, they can reach the second floor. Speaking of the second floor, the women are humongous. They almost fill the entire second floor. I'm no architect, but the second floor looks too low. The entrance doors are out of measurement. I'm not nitpicking here because we can all tell that Naniol is not aiming for hyperrealism here. The only element we see here that he paints almost realistically are the walls. He could almost feel the roughness and the coolness of the white coat painting. Aside from the wall, everything else exists in the imagination to add to the romance. What is art if we can't escape reality? Look at the wooden door entrance. Unless it's supposed to be a mural, it's reflecting the outer scene that is hidden from our view. Again, it's wood. Naniola gives us a peek inside the behind of the door, but we see an aurora-like image. He's brought an outdoor nighttime scene inside. I don't think we have auroras where we are. While it's majestic and bright on the ground floor, the upper floor where the women are is dark. We don't see the use of lamps or candles like in other paintings or on the lower floor. The Capi's windows and the curtains are so immaculate, like they were just put up and the curtains just washed. The column is so much whiter than the rest, like it's freshly painted. Perhaps it is, as evidenced by the white stains on the ground. Even though no one ever does Haranas nowadays, Naniola paints this scene during our time. Look at the face mask. It's not 2020 where there was a strict lockdown. It's more 2022 where we are all allowed to go out, but to still don a mask. It's so romantic that the first thing that a man does is to serenade his beloved. It's cute that his friends are all for it. The thing is, who's the suitor? You might think it's the one with the bouquet, but he's not looking up. He's looking towards the street. Perhaps it's the one whose face you can't see, but then he's not looking up either. The rest are looking out into the street like street performers. If it were not for the title Harana, I would think it's a street performance. If we can't tell which one is the lover among the men, we can with the women. She's the one closest to the window, but she's not looking down either. Both women are looking out into the street. All of a sudden, our romantic scene has become a rom-com. And with that aurora at the door, it's like we've entered everything, everywhere, all at once. It's a multiverse. I don't know if Naniola deliberately made a visual collage of realism, nostalgia, and the fantastical, but that's what I see and what I love about it. Perhaps you have heard how we need to spend more time studying a painting to appreciate the details and the message more. Naniola makes a fantastic case with his harana. Art that makes us linger longer is essential. And oh, by the way, even though Naniola's painting is on one canvas, it's almost like a diptych. Again, it's the fantastical, playing with realism. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.